Hello friends, this is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming and welcome to my channel and I'm here to show you a um, journal that I made for my niece. I'm I talked about it in my last video that I was um, going to show you this so uh, that's what I'm doing today and what it is is made from a, a paperback book cover and that's what I've been making my last few um, Traveler's Notebooks out of in, uh, that I've done videos on and that are in my Etsy shop is out of these um, these uh, like old book covers. I just thought I, you know, have been picking out some really cute ones or cool ones, and so that's what I made her, my niece's traveler's notebook out of. I've never made her one before, and so I'm going to see her soon. And she was in, a, in another state from me. I'm going to see her soon, and so I wanted to make her one because she is um, a young, 24 year old single girl. She's a teacher and she um, is very creative. I mean, she's like extremely super creative. She plays uh, the keyboard. She does um, all types of art as far as she can paint and draw and all that. So compared to her, um, I barely have uh, a creative <laughs> bone in my body because every bit of her is creative. So I wanted to... Um, just share some of my creativity with her since she is so creative and I you know was hoping I hope she likes it and I tried to make it um, specifically for her taste she's kind of a modern day hippie um, and she wears those big bell bottom palazzo pants and um, she's just uh, really adorable and um, she was born in, she's 24, or she's going to be 24 in December, so she was born, I believe, uh, that's 1994. And so, uh, without, you know, delay, I don't want to make this video too long. The cover is, um, it's kind of gave me a steampunk vibe. If, as you can see here, it's got all kinds of um, things around here, and then in the middle it's like um, a submarine underwater. And so you can see it looks very steampunky. And it is from this book right here, Looking for Atlantis. And this was the cover on here. This was the cover on here. So that's what the cover is made out of. It's a strong, you know, cardstock cover. And the cover is long, as you can see. As you can see, that was a big book. So this is a standard size traveler's notebook. So I had some extra from the cover that I put as pockets. I think I put one here in the front and I put one in the back. And I used um, some cord. It's like hemp cord that you uh, use when uh, in jewelry making, and it's so it's a strong cord, and it uh, is that cord that kind of changes color as you go down. It kind of blends into different colors, lighter and darker, and so that's what I used to bind it. And then I put um, goodies in here that um, I've never made her. Like I said, I never made her one of my journals before, so she's never seen, um, and I don't believe she does any kind of journaling. So this might get her started on a whole new. Um, avenue of creativity so um, I wanted to give her lots of goodies to um, you know use in her creativity um, there's a guest check in here there is some cutoffs from the different books and pages that I used in here and then there's and a couple of this is like a coin envelope that I made out of a curious George book page so that's what that is and then this is from a journal that was, um, this is an original handwritten page from someone's journal that I um, bought at a thrift store. So I made a little, this is a smaller envelope that I made out of that. So I just thought those were a lot of fun. And um, so that's what's in that pocket. This is scrapbook paper, so she can write on here or put some pictures in here, whatever she wants to do. Some yellow lined paper to write on. I have a pattern, pieces of a pattern in here. This is the paper part. And I tried to pick out some patterns that I thought she would uh, get a kick out of. This is from a Winnie the Book Pooh book um, that I thought um, she would like because it reminded me of books that I read to my kids when they were younger. And she's, you know, the same age as my kids. So that's from one of these Disney um, Winnie the Pooh books. And then I have the, some of the tissue from that pattern. Uh, this is from a castle book that I look like something she would be interested in. Just the colors and the um, graphics in here looked really kind of cool. 
So I put some of that in here. Got a mark on my hand from the went to the uh, Liberty Antiques Festival today, and we went out to put something in the car, and they mark your hand. <laughs> Didn't wash it off yet. We were there this morning, so um, uh, got a mark on my hand from that still. But anyway, this is you can see how cool the pages are in here. Uh, it is really neat. So um, this is what this page is from. And then here's that one side of that pattern envelope. Um, you can see the um, clothes here are very 70s. Oh, here's a piece that goes in there. But um, yeah, very 70s on this with like, it looks like the pants that she wears, um, kind of not that pattern, but they have a pattern and they're kind of bell bottomy. So it just reminded me of her. I thought she would like that. And then in here, lots of goodies I put in here for her. Let's see, what have I got down in here? Uh, here, oh, this is just a little corner piece that I thought she could use for a kind of corner tuck spot. And this is a piano that I cut out of a piano book that I used in one of my previous um, Traveler's Notebooks that I already did a video on and uh, is in my Etsy shop. And then this is a cutoff from scrapbook paper. This is uh, a piece I cut off from a card that I what someone in my me or someone in my family received, and it's a cat with a little mouse hanging down. I just had it in my stash, and I was like, oh, she might get a kick out of that. She loves animals and kids and stuff. So, uh, map, piece of map, um, three journaling cards that I made for her. Here's another corner tuck that she can use from like cardstocky um, type scrapbook paper. And these are index cards that I decorated a little bit for her to be able to write on there blank on the back and have the lines on the front. So there's three of those. I've been making these little tabs. So I've got a tab on each one and I put a rubber stamp there. So um, they're all three different rubber stamps in different colors and different washi on the bottom. So I like making those there. Um, I think they make great journaling cards and they're easy, you know, fun to make and you know, a lot of it adds a lot of room for journaling with um, all that space on the front and back of those. So some more pages from the books that I showed you. Um, let's see, I don't think I showed you all the books yet. This is from Arthur. That was a um, cartoon that was on when she was a kid and my kids were little and they liked to watch Arthur and, um, you know, read Arthur books. So this is an Arthur book, Arthur Goes to Camp. And has some real cute, you know, pictures from that time when she was a little girl. So anyway, I put a page in here. And then some more of the other book pages that I already showed you. And the pattern. That's from Arthur. This is um, from the, the Winnie the Pooh book, I believe. That's some little bees on here. This is lined paper. This is old, very old lined paper. So I put a piece of that right there. This page I made a little tuck spot and I've got some labels in here I thought she could have fun with. And then this is a bag I made out of a bigger bag and I just liked this paper. It was um, like really thin brown paper. So I made little bags out of it and I've got a little fox puffy sticker right down here. And then in it I've got some scraps, some that scrap wrap, scrap um, scrapbook paper, some scrap lined paper that she can use there lined to front and back. And so that's lots of journaling room and then she can while she tape those in as flaps or um, you know flip ups or whatever she wants. This is a little vintage um, I just got these last weekend <clears throat> at an antique shop that had 50% off their whole shop and I found these in there so that was a good deal on those. I had never seen anything like those before. So I was got a kick out of finding those. Uh, some used postage stamps and a couple of labels. Um, I make these little tiny labels out of my scraps. A little yellow one out of cardstock. This is some green uh, cardstock that I got in the mail and I liked the color. So I made some little tags out of that. And then just some more of the pages from the books that I just showed you. See how colorful that one is and really pretty. This one had from the castle book. 
And so we're at the middle, and then the back half is, you know, what I already showed you as far as um, the pages. Um, real quick, I'll show you what I've got in here. I put a puppy sticker up here just to add some color and some goodies, um, little journaling cards from my um, scrapbook paper book, you know, pads. This is from a Smashbook paper um, journaling uh, card book, uh, some index cards that I cut in half and rounded the corners. This is also some um, little journaling card kind of die cut pack that I got. A piece of a book page, this is a piece of a recipe book page and just some scraps here that she can have fun with. So that's what's in that envelope. Let me just put that down there for a second. And then in the back, you've already seen these, I've got a flip out here. In the back, just some more, um, another journaling card from a, a paper pad. Just a fun, you know, banana, you know, <laughs> I'm sure she'll just have fun with that, you know. Uh, little bees on here. This is a little frame, a piece from the piano book that I made into a tag. This is a recipe book page. I think she likes to cook. Um, so, anyway, I just thought she could have some fun with that and do whatever she wants. You never know what she might could do some mixed media or something because she's really artistic. Anyway, that's it. Um, I'm going to have this little uh, tie on here for her and um, 40 pages. Standard size uh, four and a half, four and one quarter by eight and one quarter. So just really cute, and I just wanted to share that uh, with you. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed that, and maybe uh, that will inspire somebody to use some, you know, pages like that for uh, that type of age group, um, kids that were born in uh, 90, 94, and ninety five. You know that age group, and they're still single and just, um, you know, having, can have some fun with uh, something like this that reminds them of their childhood. So thank you and have a great night and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.